What's up guys, it's Brody. Today we're going to learn about one of the most exciting elements of Ultimate Frisbee, and that's how to lay out. Uh, being able to do this is not only going to extend your range on offense of where you can actually catch a disc, but also on defense it's going to make you a much better defender because you're going to be able to make plays that you wouldn't be able to make otherwise. So the first thing we're going to learn is proper form, developing proper form to where our body is hitting the ground the right way, and secondly, getting our body comfortable and being in that horizontal position. So to work on this, I'm going to get down close to the ground here to start off, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm literally just going to fall forward and I'm going to hit the ground with my chest, my hands first, and then my chest, and I'm going to be square, okay? You don't want to twist your shoulders here. Also, when you go, make sure your arms aren't wide. If your arms are wide, you're just going to face plant, okay? If your arms are too close together, you're going to roll up onto your arms and that's going to cause problems. What you want to have is your arms shorter width apart. So here we go. I'm going to fall forward. And as you see, when I hit the ground, I don't stick my arms down. Okay, My arms hit and slide forward with my body. I'm going to do one more. So once you're comfortable with that, what we're going to do is we're just going to take a little baby step and push off. Okay, If you're right-handed, if you're right -handed, most of the time, it's more comfortable to push off your left foot. So just take a kind of a baby step of your left foot and push off. If you're left-handed, take a step of your right foot and push off. So that's what we're going to do now is take a small step into it and really focus on making sure that our shoulders are square to the ground and we're hitting with our, our arms first, sliding out, and then our chest, okay? So now that we're comfortable with hitting the ground with our body and making sure that we're not putting all our weight on our arms or all our weight on our chest and making sure that all the weight is kind of being evenly distributed in our upper body, we're going to work in catching the disc. So what I'm going to do is I have Cody here that's going to help me out. He's going to hold the disc out in front of me. Okay, I'm going to get back to the position that we first started with. And as I lean forward, I'm going to extend my right arm, catch it with my palm up, okay? And as I catch the disc and lean forward, I'm going to rotate the disc here and land so that my arm is taking the blow and not the disc, okay? If you keep the disc out like this, there's a real good chance of you, when you come down, the disc is going to take a lot of that force and pop out. After that, we're going to add in the next element where I'm going to take a small step into the layout, okay? I'm going to take a small step into it, extend, catch, twist my wrist, land on my chest, move my arms out, okay? That's the next step. So, one thing I see a lot is players taking too much time to get their feet underneath them to lay out. And to really get these D's guys and to really make some catches, when you're running full speed, you need to start thinking about before you lay out, you're going to lay out, okay? So the huck goes up to me and I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. I don't want to have to slow down and then jump forward. I'm losing all that momentum. If a huck goes up to me and the disc is out, I'm running as fast as I can the entire time thinking about when I'm going to lay out and then I push off with my leg, okay? Start getting in the habit of thinking, I'm laying out, I'm laying out, I'm laying out before you even lay out. So after you practice that guys a bunch, you're going to start getting more comfortable about knowing where you can lay out, where you can make that play, how far away you can make that play. Also you're going to work on your reaction time and so you can make that play a lot quicker and uh, not have to worry about getting your feet settled underneath you to lay out.